I'm a few years old. I'm 64. Yeah. So you all, you look the same too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rob. Do you remember that picture? The crazy thing is, is I do remember that whole day. That is wild. Well, that is crazy, isn't it? I think it was. Yeah, we played. I think it was. Yeah, Bears versus Lions. It's insane. I got a uh, orange and blue foam ball that day. <laughs> that was my souvenir. How old were you? Do you remember? I want to say four, maybe right. four or five. You think it was like your first game? Oh, it was my first game. Yep, oh, okay. it was my first one. My second Bears game was uh, at the team up north, but that was uh, <laughs> that was my first. You've already field fit game. into being a bear uh, yeah. now, haven't you? I think you? I think I'm used to it now. Uh huh. You know what I I, I took from this picture too. Uh, your dad must have liked Jim McMahon. He has a little. Oh Jim, yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah, he does. He yeah. He's got the Jim McMahon look going. Yeah, there. I, I mean, I still got the autograph football from you too. Really? Oh yeah. I had an uncle that played 16 years in the NFL, so yeah. I followed it, and I got all the autographs and everything too. That's awesome. So, I'm like awesome. looking at my dad, like that's crazy too. How old is your dad now? He will be in September 60. All right, he's Big a, 6 He's a youngster. Yeah. So I'm a few years older. I'm 64. Dude, so you you look the same too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that we came in the league the same way. I was a yeah. college free agent, not drafted. So I mean, to be honest, I was happy just having an NFL jersey on. Right. You know, first game that right. I was uh, was ever involved in. To be a tight end and you know, on this team and with the history of you know tight ends here also is, uh, yeah, it's something special and you know I'm I'm privileged to just wear that jersey and be in this position it's the city too i think plays but, a big big part of being yeah. a chicago bear the bears fans are chicago over everything and you know obviously the past seasons haven't been you know what they've wanted but they haven't like ever swayed from like their loyalty right right, right. that it is it's a special place there on yeah. sundays the bear fans come ready to oh yeah ready I to mean, participate in the game oh yeah and that's i mean the you know, the, every time I played there, you know, the last six seasons, right. it's just, right. it's just been a, um, an unreal, you know, for obviously a, you know, a local kid to play in Soldier Field every year has been, uh, it's been special to me, but now to do it, you know, on the right side, in the right uniform, uh, yeah, I'm excited for well, it. That's great. My, me personally, being from a football family, and having a, a head coach that's a Hall of Fame football player. Right. That, that's a, that was a special thing also. Yeah. And just a great Chicago Bear. And you could tell the, how he loved Chicago and loved oh, yeah. the Bears. And that, that, that means something. That's, that's something that, that you're going to bring right. to these players here, too. Yeah. And like you said, like from the city, like the, the, I think the coaches and the players that embrace the city mentality and bring it to the field. Like just adds that extra fire yeah. for the whole for the whole the whole group yeah. you know the fans and the players and how great is it going to be for your family to, oh to, yeah uh, i mean yeah i'm 20 minutes from my hometown you know right get to see my parents every other day like it's just like all comes full circle and you know at the right point of my life like this is happening so I'm, that's I'm, great yeah the one issue could be tickets, though. I mean, you're going to get bombarded. Yeah, by a lot of my friends are already season ticket holders, oh, so it's go. actually nice that you know you they're go. they're on their own. So uh, <laughs> yeah, even when I you know even when I wasn't here, they were coming to Soldier Field every week. So uh, right, yeah, I mean, more the merrier. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. I'm really excited to be here. I feel the support from not only my friends and family, but the you know the players and coaches here and the fans. So I'm just ready to kind of mm -hmm. embrace that and take it on. I mean, that's one thing, uh, Coach Dick. Uh, really stressed was um, if you're a winner in Chicago you never forgotten I mean look right. at I mean our 85 team I and mean, you know we yeah. people are st still know who we are and right when I was your age playing all we heard was about the 63 team and right. they say hey, it's time you know yes. it's, it's and it's way way past time now right. and, I mean, yeah, I'm not even trying to pump you up, but I mean, I still think about like the, that picture and like that experience and, like, right. you know, seeing the football still at my house. Like I think about that all the time and Walter Payton and all those guys, uh, like whether it's, you know, Gail Sayers, I have his autograph, the Brian Locker jersey I have, like that defense that went to the Super Bowl, like locally, you just never forget about those teams and those players uh, that made a statement and that had an effect on uh, you know the city of Chicago so yeah um, it's true it's uh, you know I still remember you know our 85 championship game when we beat the Rams just the, the stadium the way it was erupting uh, right during that game and that, those are things that you never yeah. forget
Yeah, that Super Bowl feeling is something that I think every player is searching for and that feeling uh, right. to host the trophy at the end. So See, the Super Bowl is actually the easiest game I ever played in my career. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that was mean, a blowout. That's, yeah. <laughs> that was a blowout, it, it that's was. for sure. I had a, like a little saying that we'd always say to guys, you know, you know, you want to play a long career and, and um, just I tell guys, you know, before games, you know, keep your head up and your feet moving. Head you up know, and feet you, moving, yeah. Yeah, don't get hurt, you know. It's, you yeah, know. Health, I mean, health and health leads to a lot of things, and obviously availability is the best ability. But just in general with the world, you know, a lot of people just kind of give up on things or dreams and stuff like that. And I think just like you said, just keeping your head high and just trucking through all the adversity. Right. I mean, that's something like my dad and my grandpa have always instilled in me, like, too, is just, you know, anything that you want is not going to be easy. And especially where I'm coming from, like you're saying, like undrafted right. quarterback receiver, I didn't play tight end until the NFL. So it's like, yeah, you just kind of have to get it how you get it and figure it out. And when you figure it out, you can't stop. Right. That's going to be fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, Rob, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. Good seeing you yeah. again. Yeah, yeah good absolutely. Seeing you.